Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today we will draw a shark at the bottom of the sea. We begin by sketching the head, the body and the tail. Try to make loose strokes. Then we can refine them. I am drawing on grey paper with a cold erase pencil. That is a pencil that can be erased. We draw the fins over here. Outline the body a little bit more. And actually, the fins look a little bit high. So I will have to erase them. For my mistakes, good thing that I was using a pencil that can be erased. <laughs> And we redraw them a little bit lower. That looks better. We clean up and refine a little. Let's draw the fin on top and the other little ones that go further back. The list of materials that I am using is in the description below the video. I will do most of the drawing with this pencil and then I'll use a bright Prismacolor Premier for the reflections. Now we draw the shadow with practically the same shape but a little bit off to the right and higher and the edges can be a little bit wiggly if we want. We then give it a tone. I erase some of the sketch lines first. This will be pretty much a flat tone. Ok, good. We can measure the length of the fin to make sure in the shadow we draw it the same. Obviously, as we chose to draw the shadow to the right, that means that the light source is slightly to the left. And so, on the actual shark, the right will be darker and the left lighter. I invite you to follow me on Instagram, at artistleonardo, to see my new works of art. I will delineate it a little bit more, so it can be seen better. Very good! Now with the Prismacolor Premier Pencil I will draw the reflections. Those bright, wiggly reflections that can be seen in water. And that, technically speaking, they are called caustic curves. I'm not using a totally white pencil, but rather this is a pencil called grey-green light, which is a very light greyish green but in the video probably it will look just white. <laughs> we can also add those caustic lights to the surface. In the places where two lines cross, we have a highlight. The light is brighter. I will reinforce the shadow a little bit and then I'll smudge it with a stump to even it out. And if you made it all the way to this point, I would love to know it. Please in the comments write me the secret code, the dangerous shark. <laughs> and it's ready. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, subscribe to Fine Art Tips if you haven't done so already, check out my drawing book with the link below, and I will see you with more creations on Tuesday.